Good evening. I'm going to be sharing with you today, this evening, Healing Prayers for Every Day for the 5th of May. Um, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to our Guardian Angel, yours and mine. Angel of God, my Guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The reading for the 5th of May, if anyone wishes to boast, let him boast in the Lord. The reflection, it can be deadly to be in the company of a braggart, even people using the gifts of the Holy Spirit need healing of their boastfulness when they get caught up in the gifts instead of the giver. The gifts are for the body to point people to Christ. Salvation is his accomplishment and not our achievement. The prayer. I ask to be empowered to serve your people. I wish to reveal your love and mercy and bring your good news to the world. Yes, we are supposed to be as Jesus is humble and he serves us he heals the same yesterday today and tomorrow he serves today yesterday and tomorrow and we are only his creatures and followers and we should not be boasting when we do have spiritual gifts we should stay humble and give all the glory to God because God alone deserves the glory for using us. And um, I used to be in the charismatic renewal and I knew I had gifts, but I kept very quiet about it. And there was a wonderful old priest and monk, a Benedictine, and his name was Heron, Don Benedict Heron. He knew I had gifts, but he used to call me forward to help in the prayer ministry but I always remember it is far better to just be discreet and quiet and not boastful because it isn't you doing anything it's the Lord using you in some way so no matter what your gifts you're supposed to just stay quiet just stay humble and thank God that he gave you those gifts and use them wherever and whenever and always be happy and joyful because who wants to become a Christian if you're miserable if you're not happy if you're not joyful if you don't show that even though things are rough or you're having a difficult time I mean it happens to all of us we're human beings and we will have a difficult time I mean Yes, we could talk forever, but we should talk forever about all the good things that the Lord does for people, other people, and ourselves. That's what we're required to do, to show the wonderful works of the Lord, because he still works, he still does wonderful things. And we need to show people that, because he loves us, and he loves them as well. And we have to, even if we're the only one in our family who's still worshipping God, we have to do that. We want them with us. We want God to work something wonderful in their lives and in them. We have to show that, that, that we're still with the Lord, no matter how difficult, no matter what happens. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. I didn't record this on the right day. We were actually on the 6th. So I was too busy and too tired 
and I just couldn't record on the 5th and I'm not a lot better today I I went to vote I did vote but however in all my years of voting from the age of 21 no one's ever stolen my identity I'm still in shock if you look at me you'll see I'm in shock um, I went to the post office posted a birthday present to my third daughter the 10th she'll be 54 Anyway, I went over to vote in the public hall. Had my voter's card, which is lying around here somewhere, took it with me and got to the table. And one of them said, you voted already. I said, I haven't, I've only just come here. <laughs> Honest, I was, I was really in shock because I've had enough shocks in April, let alone I'm getting some in May. So a lady took me to one side, asked me lots and lots of questions and then allowed me to vote in a different place to the other people because I said, well, how are they going to know who's, who's voted who? Uh, she said, we've got special papers for you. So she had pink papers because I two vote, votes, one for the police and one for something else. A person. Yeah. Anyway, I um, made my vote. They attached the pink papers to each of them and put them in a special envelope. But I came out of there in, in disbelief at what had happened to me. What if I hadn't had the voter's card with me? <laughs> and all the rest of the questions. Anyway, I hope it doesn't happen to you, but I'm going to make an official complaint to the police later because somebody's taken my identity. How did, how did they get to vote before me? I'll, I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted. Yes, not a good time, is it?